I will say this. We've experienced what harshness looks like. We've been experiencing what evil looks like. And we've been experiencing what bickering and fighting, corruption looks like. But what you're feeling right now at this moment is the forerunning of what heaven's position is and has been. And as Jesus prayed, let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying the celebration, the festivity that heaven is celebrating is moving fast to hit the earth. And there is a new season that I see. that is more about the festivity and the celebration than it is about the past season. We're going to know what it means to laugh again, smile again, have order again. This is what you're hearing and feeling in the spirit realm, which is hitting this earth, and hell cannot stop it. Amen. I feel very strong as we were worshiping the Lord that there's somebody, and maybe you're, you're watching, but I kind of sense it's in, in our room here, and it might be also for you, that you've been having a digestive issue to the point where your own appetite has been affected of just being able to feel hungry, be hungry, keep food down, feel like you can digest food I, I that's what keeps coming up in my spirit and there's something that needs to happen by the touch of God in your digestive system it's almost like God is going to just kind of flush it out with his hand and reset it and you're going to you're just going to be you're going to feel like a new person but this has been going on for a while and it really has affected appetite and such who is that is there somebody in this room is that you would you would you stand here if that's you I want you to come stand up in the front but I felt it and I always try to be sensitive if it's in the room or if it's those that are watching, but I believe it's both. And I speak this to you that are watching. I want you to just put your hand down where your digestive system, and if you're in this line coming up here, I want you to do the same, please. And in the authority of Yeshua's name, the Lamb seated high, exalted, above all other gods the most high god whom we love and we fear and we reverence you O lamb of god and so i pray for the people and i pray for those that may have a condition in their body of sickness disease fever infirmity covid we rebuke it we command it to come out of their body in this with the digestive system, we break its power. We rebuke it. Come out! In the authority of Yeshua's name, we send the word into everyone in the sound of my voice. Be thou made whole. God, may they feel the fire. The fire, the fire, the fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit that touches their mortal bodies, quickens it. Bring the healing virtue to all in the sound of my voice that it is well. They are healed. Fevers break. COVID is removed. Digestive problems are healed and corrected by the power of your right hand. In Yeshua's name. Pastor Brendan, I feel like you're supposed to pray for them with Matthew. Here, just as you go by. Father, I release that anointing. In the name of Yeshua, they have anointing on them, but God, I add my faith and that anointing to them in Yeshua's name. Come on, let's agree with these people. Those of you that are watching, I stretch my hand towards you. And as hands are laid upon these people, we reach for you, the precious, beautiful people that you are. And I say, let the touch of God touch you through that camera that you are healed and you are well you are strong even your digestive tract your appetite returns 
and I say it will be normal from this moment forward no no ulcer no bleeding ulcers no burning in your stomach in Yeshua's name no nauseousness I want you to say all of this say Lord we have a covenant with you that's been sealed and ratified by Jesus's blood therefore we claim all rights and all privileges of that precious blood covenant it redeems our life from destruction sickness disease tragedies calamities that covenant gives us divine protection preservation I'm preserved from all evil from anything that violates my covenant and I claim Psalm 121 I am preserved from all evil coming in and going out I am preserved my health is preserved my life is preserved my family's preserved it is well and I live in the blessing of that covenant and so does my family in Yeshua's name and Lord as the pastor over this house and the pastor of those that watch we extend that covenant right and privilege and we say it's enforced in Psalm 105 37 there is not one feeble among us for we are the blessed people of God himself just tell him one more time how much you love him I love you Yeshua more than money more than silver more than gold no more than notoriety more than anything that this earth has to offer I love you <laughs> I love you all right catch this God let that be in your heart <laughs> and I pray that we made you smile because you sure did for us today your presence has been amazing and like Moses, unless your presence goes with us, oh God, what a privilege to have your presence among us. How many of you love the presence of God? <laughs> it's worth it all. You know, I grew up having to go to dead churches, you know, when I went, right? That's all we knew. But I wouldn't go to a dead church if you paid me. Well, I might for a little bit. If it was enough, I'd put it in towards the land fund or something like that, you know. And it, <laughs> okay.